Okay, I upped the high idle screw a little bit. I might have to turn it down though if it runs too high. And that is amazing. All right, so if you watched this far in the video, you obviously like my engines, and my next engine is going to be a homemade V4 based off of the Honda VFR uh, motorcycle engine. And what I'm thinking is using one inch diameter, uh, 4140 hardened steel rod. Uh, it's chrome plated, so for extra wear resistant for all the bearing surfaces. Uh, it has a tensile strength of around 100,000 PSI. Um, I'm a little worried. So the Honda VFR uses a 1.25 inch diameter crankshaft, which is approximately 56% stronger than the one inch. Um, but there, if I go to 1.25 inch, I, uh, since my crankshaft is welded together over the same steel rod, I am limited to, so if I want to keep the stroke length of 54 millimeters, I, I have to use one inch diameter steel rod. As you can see down there, um, that's as close as I can get. Using, using one inch rod. Um, if I go to 1.25 inch rod, the stroke length has to go all the way to 65 millimeters and then these cylinders won't work. Um, but if I use one inch, which I think it'll be strong enough, it would work, it would work really good. Um, but let me know what you guys think. I have a material that's put together. All I have to do is buy it and I can start work on this. Obviously my single cylinder, I'm gonna finish that up. I have a titanium connecting rod coming in the next video on the single cylinder and just trying to finish up everything for that except for the valve train. I kind of got myself into a pickle with how I designed it because since it's overhead cam, it is very difficult to make a metal version of it because that's why 3D printing is so nice. Um, so I kind of got myself into a pickle there, uh, but the V4 is going to be my next engine and I already have a material list put together, but I want to hear what you guys think about the one inch diameter steel rod. Do you think it'll be strong enough? Uh, thank you guys for watching.